different to GT, GTX, G-Series and where are the benefits over using uh, the EFR range on your uh, vehicle whether it be a street car, race car, drag car, drift, circuits, rally, whatever the case is. Let's first start off by identifying what the acronym EFR stands for. It's engineered for racing and there is no truer word spoken than that. What I want to do today is actually show you the actual main benefits, one of the main benefits of using the EFR range of products. The turbine head is manufactured from a completely different material uh, in comparison to any of the other guys in the market. Uh, everybody's using Inconel 713, Mar M247, and a couple of other brands or a couple of other uh, um, makeups of materials for the turbine heads, which are super alloys and obviously are going to be able to give um, a lot of thermal or very high thermal ceiling and uh, at the same time quite a high ductility rate as well. EFR have chosen something called Gamma Tie, which is basically a titanium aluminide which weighs 30% less than what Inconel, Mar M247 and the other uh, materials actually weigh. Let's put that to the test, let's actually see if there's any truth in that. Alright guys, we've got a range of products on the table here. What I'm going to do is start off with the EFR7163. I'm specifically talking about the EFR7163 today. I have a rotating assembly here, obviously without the bearing housing and the bearings. There's the compressor wheel, there's the turbine wheel. Yes, it's used. It is still clean. We've just basically cleaned up the back of the uh, the blade. It's got a little bit of uh, uh, build up, fuel burn build up on the on the, on the blades, but there's nothing wrong with the with the, the, the turbocharger. We just assembled it to give it a service, give it a clean bill of health, and off we go. So what I want to do is I'll save this guy for last. What I want to do is I'm trying to give you perspective into the weight of the turbine head made from gamma tie, titanium aluminide. Here we have a Golf 7R, 7.5R, EA888, MQB platform, right? This is the standard original IHI rotating assembly and let's see what it weighs. 225, 224 grams. Here's an IS-20 Golf 7 GTI rotating assembly. This has got the thrust collar on it. Let me take the thrust collar off. Compressor, turbine, also IHI turbocharger. Nothing wrong with it. No damage. It is original. IS-20. 185 grams, 186 grams. Refresh your memory. 224, 225. 186, 185. Here is a T3 stage one turbine. Measures 51 mils on the exducer and 64 and a half on the inducer. Just the shaft on its own, 269 grams. Here's another stage one T3 shaft. Remember, we spoke of T3s and T4s or T3, T4s uh, a while back, and we went over that specific range of turbos, and there's, uh, there's obviously 300, 400 different variations. Exducer, 49.23. Inducer, 64 and a half. That's the second variation. 260 grams. 269, 270 grams. Okay, those are your two T3 shafts on their own. Here's a Garrett GT30 turbine. But this is not the GTX30, which measures 55 and 60. This one measures 51.7879 and 56.6. All right. That is a 475, sorry, a 480 horsepower capable turbo with its compressor. Just the turbine weighs 239. We've got a 60-1 11-blade model, which is a Turbo Direct design. It's not a GTX copy. This is a completely different design. Together with the GT30 turbine, just to give you a reference, 
350 grams, 341, 51 grams. And for the grand finale, we have what we call the EFR 7163 titanium aluminide. 257, 258 grams. Now, let's do a back to back comparison. This is a 550 horsepower capable turbocharger. There's its turbine, 174 grams. He has a GT30, 480 horsepower, 70 horsepower less, turbine. 239 grams versus 174 grams. Now do you see the benefit of Gamma Tai? Let's do another back-to-back -back comparison just to refresh your memory. Stage 1 T3, which is a similar size in dimension, inducer, exducer, to the EFR 7163. 268 grams, 269 grams against 174. The other version, 260, 259 versus 174. Here's the interesting one, if you can remember the size or the weight. 224, 225 grams for the original IS38 turbocharger, okay? 225, 257. Guys, EFR has great benefit in terms of spool, in terms of aerodynamic designs, in terms of horsepower output, in comparison to any other rotating assembly in the same size, inducer, exducer, it's also ball bearing. So back-to-back -back comparisons with the likes of your Garrett GTs, GT, G series, EFR 7163 is a very, very strong contender. Hope it was helpful. Hope you guys liked that. Catch you next time.